completely unproductive a quick three and out. Yeah, it was. I don't know if they can erase this defense. This defense is pretty good. Charles Johnson gets to him for the sack. Well, every defense is looking for somebody to sack the quarterback. At that time, the speed of the defensive end gets around the tackle and gets the sack. Ryan's lined up, two tight end set. Freeman's going to take the handoff now. That's a gain of only a yard. And when it comes to the defense, the buck stops here. Jared Allen, always a force. Yeah, it sure does. The big old cowboy can get it done. He knows how to pressure the quarterback and get him to the ground. Ryan standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Roddy White makes the reception. They've come out of the blocks fairly sluggishly, and this defense has taken full advantage, Phil. Yeah, the offense having a tough time. They did not have a good series that time, and the defense, you're right, took advantage of a sluggish offense and got off the field. Again, will try his return. Gains 11. The Falcons' defense comes onto the field after surrendering a touchdown on the last drive. Well, they're hoping for better results. No question about that, Jim. They got to come out. They got to hustle. There was not enough hustle last time. And the number one key for all defensive teams is play hard. Way to call them out there, Parker. Hey, that's what I do. I like to call Jarring hit that time. Knocks the ball free. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit, knocks that football loose. Second down and 10. Looking at every option. The ball is jarred loose. Long way to go in this game. No reason to panic right now. And I don't think the offense will. They'll call a nice conservative play here. The Panthers will line up. First down markers right at the 47-yard line. The pass is off the mark, and that's a three and out. The Panthers really don't have much of a chance of picking up this first down. It's third long. Of course, the defense is looking for passes down the field. They're all over everything, and the pass goes incomplete. He wants to return this one. Williams there to make the tackle. It's been all about the defenses today as we welcome you back to the action. Falcons lined up, bunch formation. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Freeman's a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. The Falcons from the 32. Tammy's got it on a pass that had some heat. It's always good when your quarterback is able to deceive the defense with good play action fakes. That's what did it that time. Look at the quarterback. Nice fake. Defense reacts to the run, and now you throw it over the top for the easy completion. Ryan's three for three with that completion. When you see this cover two defense as a quarterback, you got to know where to throw the football. That time he did not make a good decision. You got to throw it sometimes deep down the middle. The safeties are not there, they're outside. He did not take advantage of that coverage that time. Freeman's got it on the handoff. The Falcons have not had a strong running game this half, at least in the sense of handing the football off. Freeman's had a really hard time of it, and right now his team, with it behind, knows they have to get him to step up. Well, they do. You want your running back to step up. And when you see a running game struggle like we have seen so far here today, Jim, it always comes down to this. The offensive line is getting dominated, so there's no chance for the running back to get anything done. The offensive line, they've got to change up. First down at the 33. And he 
he's able to find Julio Jones. Julio Jones, first round draft pick from the University of Alabama. He is tough and he can go down the field and make the catch. Falcon snap it at the 31. Freeman's going to take the handle from the eye. Freeman's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. The Falcons will line up. The first down markers right at the 23-yard line. Third and five. Coleman's ready to run off the screen. Muscles through the defender. Touchdown! And these teams are on level ground again after the touchdown with just about half the second quarter still to play. You know what's fun about situations like this when teams get tied to see the strategy and what the coaches have up their sleeve that we haven't seen so far. Balls on the tee. Got a tie game now. The scores 7-7. Seven to seven. This is Whitaker running it out. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. The Panthers offense failed to muster a single first down the last time they had it. Let's see if their offense this time can create a few sparks. Well, you know the coaches were upset at them when they went to the sideline. So the sense of urgency is there. You should be fired up, and I expect a better drive this time. Stewart's going to secure the handoff. Met by Reed that time. The Panthers come out with a split backfield. Newton's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Ted Ginn takes it in. Moore's there that time for the tackle. Well, the quarterback showed off his arm strength that time, didn't he? He put the football right on the money, on a line, right into the receiver's hands. And now we reach the two-minute warning here in the second quarter. We're back, and we're coming out of the two-minute warning in the first half. First down at the 45. That hit on release. Second down following that incompletion. The Panthers are at the line of scrimmage with a pair of backs split behind the quarterback. Second and ten. Brown's got it on a pass, has some heat on it. The defense at this point trying to keep him out of the end zone. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Newton's back in shotgun formation. And it's complete. Touchdown, Panthers. Bill, they have the lead now here late in the second thanks to that touchdown, and they should have it, in fact, when we go to the intermission. Oh, oh now you're seeing the future, huh? So you know those things. No, I'm just kidding, of course, Jim. like to have a little fun with you every once in a while, but, hey, nice drive by the offense. That puts them in a great frame of mind going into halftime here soon. They'll take it at the 20. The defense marching back out there for this next possession and what's been a stellar first half for them. And thanks in no small part to the man you're looking at right there. Well, I like what this defense has done so far in the game and what they have shown. Well, you know, the defensive side, it's always about energy, but they have shown tremendous discipline. Intercepted! Tackles made.
Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled. Being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did. They got the interception. Hand off made. And a gain of four. This is one good tackling defense. They stay in good position at all times. And we saw it that time when they stopped the play for a short game. This next snap will take place at the 19. The Falcons' defense now is going to go nickel. Newton in shotgun formation. Makes the grab. Touchdown. Getting close to the half, and they're giving their opponents a lot to talk about in the locker room. Yeah, they are putting some kind of whipping on them here early in the game. I'll just say this for the defensive side that's losing. It's been terrible. So go in there at halftime, change what you're doing, and get back in this game. Extra point was good. The Falcons ready to return the kick. the 20 and brought down at the 23. Julio Jones on his way out to the huddle again. He's not having any kind of impact on this game so far and that's a big reason why his team's behind. Yeah, when you talk about the run game, the pass game, the pass protection, the run blocking, there's one word that comes to mind. Poorly. Everybody's having a bad day and especially the wide receiver. He's got to pick it up. He can he has the ability to raise the level of play of this offense just by his actions. First down at the 38. Jones comes up with the catch. Star Latulale in on that play. Falcons are going to use one of the two timeouts they have remaining. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Ryan's going to take it from the gun. Devontae Freeman with the reception. And the offense will need three yards here on third down after the completion. If you think you can get a playoff quickly and not use a timeout, you go with the hurry up offense. That time, a good job by the coach and the quarterback. And he's in for the touchdown. What a play. What a run. And as we approach halftime, that touchdown certainly makes the lead look a lot less secure than it was just a few minutes ago. It's going to change those halftime speeches, isn't it? One team is going to say, hey, look, we played awful, but we found a way to hang into the game. And the other team has to be disappointed. They dominated, and now they're in a close contest. And this is Whitaker running it out. There's a flag out. Head got yanked back the other way. An obvious face mask penalty, and that's a big one. About safety of the players, too. That's why when you grab, hit the helmet in certain situations, it's going to be a 15-yard penalty. Don't grab the face mask. Makes the catch. And he's able to get out to the 34-yard line. The Panthers are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Following that timeout, offense back out on the field. Double tight end formation. The Panthers have it at the 34. Brown holds it in. Allen's in on the tackle. That's going to be a timeout charge to the offense. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Newton's got it in the gun. Almost intercepted. All right, it's a nice play that time by the defense. The offense is inside your red zone. you got to stop them from scoring. That was a good job of slotting the football away. 
he puts it through for three. We've reached halftime, and we'll be sending it back to our studio and Larry Ridley as we continue.